puja otherwise known as tulasi vivah is a ceremonial hindu festival or occasion in which the marriage of tulsi that is holy basil is held with god shaligram or god vishnu the ceremony signifies the end of the monsoon and the beginning of the wedding season in hindu religion the festival is performed any time between prabhodini ekadashi and kartik purnima the day can vary regionally now let us know the legend behind tulsi puja tulsi vivah the ceremonial marriage of tulsi plant that is holy basil to god vishnu is performed in kartik month of the hindu calendar it is mentioned in padma puran and other ancient scriptures this ceremony is performed any time between prabhodini ekadashi to kartika purnima that is either in october or november the actual day of tulsi vivah differs from one region to another it marks the end of monsoon season and the start of hindu wedding season now this is the story of tulsi and jalandhar tulsi was vrindha in her previous birth to the daitya raja kalnemi the king of mathura a girl was born her parents named her vrinda she became a devotee of vishnu from her childhood when vrinda grew up she was married to a demon named jalandhara now a bit about jalandhara in a different context lord shiva got annoyed with indra and opened his third eye Guru Brahaspati apologized to Lord Shiva and requested him to forgive Indra. Therefore, Lord Shiva sent the fire from his eyes into the ocean. A baby boy was born out of it. This boy became the mighty demon king Jalandhara. The name of his capital too was Jalandhar. Having emerged from the ocean water, Jalandhar staked his claim on the treasures churned out of the ocean. The gods refused to acknowledge his claim. Jalandhar declared war and became a danger to devas. Nobody could kill him because he had the boon that till his wife Vrinda was chaste, death could not touch him. The fierce battle went on. Devas asked Vishnu for help. Vishnu wanted to help them but could not kill Jalandhar because of his promise to wife Lakshmi who considered Jalandhara her brother as he too was born out of the ocean like her. So Devas were defeated by the Asuras. and Jalandhara became the king of heaven earth and patal The devas consulted sage Narada for plan B to be hatched Accordingly Narada went to Jalandhar and during conversation deliberately described in detail how Shiva had the more beautiful area of Kailas as his abode and the most beautiful wife parvati jalandhar was egoistic and had the compulsion to acquire everything that he desired his lust and ego propelled him to acquire both shiva's wife and home again a ferocious battle took place jalandhar had mastered the ability to change form while the war was going on He disguised himself as Shiva and went to Parvati to trick her. She saw through this disguise and recognized him. She attacked him but he escaped. Parvati then complained to Vishnu and asked him to trick Vrinda just as Jalandhara had tried to trick her. Now Vrinda determined to commit to a ritual that she would sit and perform puja. Whenever Jalandhar went for battle she never got up from the puja till he came back home this time too she was busy performing her puja for the victory and long life of her husband the devas requested vishnu to intervene vishnu was in a fix 
Brinda was his devotee. He just could not deceive her. But again, the devas urged him. So he took the form of Jalandhar and went to Jalandhar's place. Seeing him, Vrinda got up from her puja and touched his feet. This broke Vrinda's pledge and her husband lost his life in the battle. Lord Shiva killed him. Jalandhar's head was thrown in their palace. Dumbfounded, she looked at her husband's head and asked in a steely tone, Who is standing before me? Whom I have touched? A sheepish Vishnu came into his original form. Vrinda understood that she had been tricked by him. She was angry at the deception. She cursed Vishnu to turn into the very stone for the way he had behaved, since stones are heartless. Lord Vishnu became stone and that is called as Shaligram. The whole creation became unbalanced. Lakshmi and all the gods implored and prayed to Vrinda to take back her curse for the welfare of the creation. She took it back. But to his credit, Vishnu had taken his punishment without any protest. Vrinda took her husband's head in her lap and immolated herself in the fire. From her ashes sprang a plant. Vishnu named that plant as Tulsi. He declared that one of his forms, the stony one, will be called Saligram and it would always be worshipped with Tulsi. Tulsi will find a place in all houses and be worshipped. The first offering to him should be of Tulsi, otherwise he would not accept the rest of the offerings. From then onwards started the tradition of honoring Tulsi by performing Tulsi Vivah in the month of Kartik. <laughs>